what is going on youtube i know there's <laughs> been a lot of boxing videos where i take a little pause from that and show you guys an update of the front lip it's been real it's been doing it's been doing its job like um also bubble detailing that i that i do on the side um cleaned the car yesterday the jeep and i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna do another i'm gonna make another review video of how the pressure washer that i that i got is holding up it's it's amazing like it i should have got that a long time ago but i hadn't done my research so you know I, I didn't get it until then but anyways um where was i i got lost in the tracks oh it's been doing the job i've always wanted a front lift for the c5 but there was always one with the same design but was only offered in carbon fiber or or a uh, gloss finish from c7 carbon and their prices were um I, they were ridiculous for me like and but but then again i don't want to say it was ridiculous for other people that's just me i just feel like if i'm gonna put a front lip on my car and i'm gonna pay five to seven hundred dollars and it does this yeah i'm not gonna do that because the car is already lower lowered and if i'm gonna put a front lip i'm only doing it for uh aesthetic uh, uh for, for aesthetics only like i i don't uh, that, that's it i mean it makes it come it pretty much converts or or uh what's the word i'm looking for it uh it just complete completely changes the, the look it makes it look more aggressive and things like that but i'm not going to spend so much money on a front lip when it when it does that so that's the update that i have here for you guys if you guys have a low corvette if it's lowered on stock bolts you guys will run into this situation and mind you i don't daily drive this corvette i drive it maybe once or twice a month uh i try to do a little bit more than that but i'm always busy you know with with my daughter family things and things like that so i barely get to drive the car that's why the, there hasn't been a lot of videos of it i still haven't gotten the chance to to uh even install the uh the sleepy eye kit either so um yeah that's the update it's been holding up pretty good the temps right now it's uh it's it's obviously summer now and it gets up to about 80 90 degrees out and whenever I do drive it uh, to the gym, it takes anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes to get there because I do have another membership all the way in Hendersonville that I th that I go to because it has punching bags and my my gym here doesn't. But whenever I do go over there, there is uh, uh, there is there's a few stops, a few lights here and there. When I do sit at idle, um, it does creep up to 190, 195, 200. But then when I start driving again, it goes right back down to about 180, 185. And the good thing about this front splitter, uh, front lip, whatever you want to call it, is that it has the vent, the the functional vent, and that's what I was looking for. But I wasn't I wasn't going to buy the ZR1 that has the uh, lip that's closed right here and it has the openings on the side. I wasn't going to get that because that causes the Corvette to overheat uh, unless you do the. Uh, the license plate mod here that you know you have the hole you cut a hole here and and it goes right to the radiator but i didn't want to do all that uh so we i bought the lip it's about 150 dollars on ex online stream online extreme online stores i'll put the link in the description everybody has been asking me uh for 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 the for the link i think i put it on my last video but i can't remember but it's been holding up it's doing its job it cools down just like you need it because the C5s are, are bottom feeders. So it, it does exactly what it's supposed to do as far as cooling down the uh, the engine, but it also serves for a better appearance on the car. If you look at it at any angle, it just looks a lot more aggressive. And whenever it's parked, like kind of like on a downhill, it just looks even better. So it's been holding up pretty, pretty good. But the only, only con I see from this is the way that it's it's built. It's very hard plastic. So anytime you hit anything, whether you're only going very, very slow and it gets caught, it's gonna crack and it's going to chip like it did right here. Um, thing is dirty, man. But the that that would be the only complaint fitment wise it it was it was pretty pretty darn good it fitted pretty good 
and I don't really have any other complaints other than the, and, uh, other than the, the material that was used. But if you guys want to get one, just, just, just know, just know that it will break sooner or later. It will break. But the good thing is that online, uh, extreme online stores, um, <laughs> maybe they built it. So if it does break, you can order one right off their website again. But you never know. I, I, I don't know. Uh, you know they're in the in the business of making money so so they're gonna do what they're gonna do to, to to get more business but that's the update on the front lip i've been getting a lot of questions on it and i just wanted to get on here and kind of answer those questions and then also um just just to end the video i did get an offer i got an offer for 17k on the car um am i going to take it i don't know it's i don't want to get rid of it but you guys know that my life has changed in so many ways uh, with our baby, uh, with uh, it's just so many things, uh, home ownership um, and our father-in-law, well, my father-in-law, my wife's uh, father, um, he let us use uh, his Ram for, uh, for about a week. And when I tell you a truck is so practical it's so useful it's so comfortable it's big spacious and i'm really thinking about a truck um i i don't want to get another uh, car loan and if i do it'll be very very small with for like five may, maybe five grand max uh, seven grand I'm, I'm actually seven grand max and try to pay it off in like within six months i hate that i don't like it but whenever it comes to situations like this and where i need to and i still have and i still need to have an emergency fund um i might do it we're, we're looking around well i'm looking around see if i need to sell the vet um because i don't like i said i don't even have i don't i don't I haven't even had a chance to install the sleepy eye either like i don't have a chance to deal like i don't have a chance to, to drive it the only time that i do get to drive it is is uh like on a sunday morning when there's literally i i have like about a window uh, a window of a window of an hour or two to 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 go to the gym um and then after that it's always busy every single day is busy because my wife now is doing the farmer's market and to get everything stuffed in as far as like the tables and the jeep um the uh tent thing that she uses um get it all crammed in there it's just it's a whole ordeal man that's why i really want to get a truck but only time will tell i'm not i'm not saying i'm gonna do it right away uh because we still gotta think through it uh get our finances straight get everything good to go because um making a purchase like that obviously requires money and a lot of it um and uh, so, yeah, that's that's pretty much what's going on. I don't want to get rid of it. I want to. I love the C5. I want to build it. I want to do so many things. But sometimes families, you know, well, not sometimes, but families first. We have to do what's best for our family. And in the future, down the line, if uh, if, uh, you know, God willing, we'll get another one. But it, it's going it, to it's it, everything has has a plan. Everything has a reason. Um so that's why I have changed my my content to uh, uh, boxing and my life, um, and it's going to continue to go like th that that way, you know. And because I do like making content, but I'm not going to be strapped to just one car or just car content. But uh, that's it. Update for the uh, the the vet and the AC is going out on this, so we have to fix that too. Another headache. Just a reminder, I'm human just as you. I have experiences just as you have things, bad news just as you. So if you're going through any bad times, just know it's only temporary. We're going to get that fixed. We're going to see what happens to the Corvette. But in the meantime, that's a little update for you guys. We'll see you guys in the next video.